I'd like to show you today how to use an approximation for a volume under a three-dimensional curve and then to use the double integral to actually find the very real value of what the volume is under the curve. I want to work with a curve which is formed by z equals a function of x and y which is 2y cubed plus 3x. And here Mabel has been used to show you what the curve looks like. This is the 3D graph of the function starting over here at 0, 0 and going up in the air. And then this is a contour plot of this thing which is actually looking at the contour plot here on the level x, y axis. When we form the Riemann sum, I want to form six sums and I want them centered at 1, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, whoops, this is 3, 1, 1, 3, 3, 3, 1, 5, and 3, 5. That is, I want to form a 2 by 2 rectangle which extends up to the z function to give me the height. So I've got six three dimensional rectangles which I'm going to find the volume of as an approximation under this particular curve. So, first we write the double sum. This is the approximation. I want a sum with a delta y sub j and a delta x sub i, and here is my function giving me the height and the width and the length of the rectangle in the xy plane. So, what I want to do is sum from 1 to 4 in steps of 2. That is, I want to go summing the x's, and then I want to sum the j's after I've summed the x's, the j going from 1 to 6 in steps of 2. So here is the basic Riemann sum. Now, delta x sub i is constant, and delta y sub j is constant at 2. They can vary, but in this case, I'm going to keep them constant. So this delta x puts my 2 out here, and now I'm going to sum this. So when x is 1, I'll get 2yj squared plus 3. And when uh, x is 3, I'll have 2yj squared plus 9. So when I add those together and bring the delta y out, which is also a 2, I'm going to get 4 times the summation of j equals 1 to 6 in steps of 2 of uh, this added together, which is 4 y sub j squared plus 12. That brings us up when I evaluate this from 1 to 6 of uh, 4 times 4 plus 12 plus 36 plus 12 plus 100 plus 12, giving me 4 times 140 plus 136, or 704. So 704 is my approximate volume underneath this curve using six uh, rectangular uh, vertical approximations. Now, here is the double integral which will perform the same thing when we take the limit over here as both delta x and delta y goes to zero, and we have the double integral coming out of that. So I want to integrate from 0 to 4 of 2y squared plus 3x with respect to x. And then when I can finish that, I want to integrate from 0 to 6 with respect to dy. So when I integrate 2y squared plus 3x with respect to x, I get 2y squared x plus 3x squared over 2 evaluated from x equals 0 to x equals 4. And then I'm going to integrate with respect to y. Make sure you have your dy's and your dx's in here. So this leads me to an integral of 0 to 6 of 8y squared plus 24 with respect to y, which gives me 8y cubed over 3 plus 24y, going from y equals 0 to y equals 6, which is 8 times 216 over 3 plus 24 times 6, which is 720. So the real value is 720. My approximate value using six rectangular approximations is 704.